Huh. What up? Alright, so I wanted to do a quick little one here. Well, we'll see how quick and little it is, I guess. We'll just let it flow and let it go, and we'll see. We'll see uh, what happens. So yeah, I'm watching uh, Cor Cortese. <laughs> Be being funny, being uh, being awesome. Cause I mean, that's all, that's all he does, right? But uh, I was gonna give some shout outs to people. Uh, I don't know, every time I feel, I feel like I'm going to do that, I'm like, oh, what if I leave so-and-so out, and I don't want to do that, and so I don't know, I'll just say, I just watched one of Zen's videos, the, the Moorish one, and uh, that was on point, and then uh, the genie, Mayan genies, uh, his, his last several, for me, have been, uh, have really hit home. So, uh, that's, that's been badass. So I've been absorbing, I mean, like always, the, the Zen man, and then, uh, the genie, like, has been really coming through and hitting home. And so I'm like, man, I need to absorb some quartz. Like, I, I know it. So, like, that's, that's what I'm doing now. show you uh what I've been what I'm drinking on right now if it'll show up let me switch it up <laughs> I got I got my my little flashlight set up <laughs> so I can potentially see it. Oh I got moved though. Oh, uh, can we see it? Good enough. Luponic Distortion IPA. Like, that's that's perfect right there. Just that name. It tastes amazing as well. I definitely recommend it. So, let's see. Oh, what did I want to talk about? so many things how to distill how to distill it and bring it forth with uh some resemblance of clarity <laughs> just a little bit at least that'll do for me so yeah I guess I'll start out with like uh Uh, hot and cold, uh, balancing those two things, seeking and finding balance within everything, but utilizing the extremes, utilizing the hot and cold, utilizing the polarities to to really ground down in that homeostasis and that balance. So right now it is, well, it's supposed to be winter. Um, I don't, I don't really know what the fuck it is anymore, because, uh, we don't really have seasons, it seems like. We just kind of have, uh, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. So that, that's fun, that's fucking fun. But, uh, right now the, the water in my shower is, uh, very, very cold. And I just kind of want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, I take, I take these cold shower, well, I take hot and cold, I, I, I do one extreme than the other, and the more I've been doing this, I've been doing this for quite a while, I don't know, like, how many years now, but, as with everything, we kind of reach a point where sometimes we can reach, like, a stagnation of energy, or a normalcy we can uh, become comfortable in our uh, routine almost 
and whenever that happens we kind of lose focus or lose sight of the benefits or the message. So recently, uh, I don't know, somewhat recently, recently, <laughs> it's all perspective, right? <laughs> it's, hard, it's, it's hard for me to talk about time because of the uh, perception of, of time that I have, so it's very difficult for me to uh, <laughs> talk in terms of time. But with the cold, it, it's taking on for a while because I've been doing it for a while. It was uh, it reached it reached that point of uh, normalcy, but now my body has reached a different response, and it's not just the body. The body has the wisdom, it has the gnosis already, but. How we activate that is is with the mind. So it's how I choose to engage the feeling. And that's everything in life. That's going to be everything. How we choose to engage the feeling. How we choose to transform it. Do we choose to go along with our habitual programmed crap that we have been taught about something a certain feeling or idea or emotion or do we just feel it for the raw isness that it is and and transmute and alchemize our past and bring it forth in, in into a new present into a new experience of beauty and just allowing allowing but also choosing <laughs> oh what a conundrum what 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 a how how paradoxical life is we have to choose to allow right isn't that what it is So whenever this cold in and right now, like it's 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 at the level of cold that I like. Like I I like that. But I've been noticing this thing happening lately, and it's not just with the cold. It's it, with other aspects of my life. So it's bleeding into this cold therapy, whatever you want to call it, cold showers thing, where this intense cold hits my body and the the instinctual thing that happens is your body kind of wants to go into shock and and this doesn't just apply with cold it applies with anything that's kind of like a a, a, stim, a stimulating factor or something that takes you by surprise or makes you have a, a knee jerk reaction like Engaging this more and more to where you 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 have more control over how you want to respond, how you want your body to respond to it. So this cold hits my body, <laughs> and now my my initial reaction is glee. It's really jubilation. Uh, it's it's laughter, and it, within that. It's an appreciation. So it's, oh my gosh, this is cold and awesome. And 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 then within that, thank you for this. Like I, I'm so, so very thankful for this. And this is also something I feel whenever, just throughout my life, like whenever I've had, and I've talked about this with like uh, being sick or having fevers, like I'm always very appreciative of the different perspectives that I'm able to enter and and engage in. Okay, so uh stemming from that, something something that stuck in my mind with one of these mud flood videos. And this is also something I've kinda of talked about uh with a lot of these mud flood channels 
they they are so hyped on the mud flood concept that they limit their perspective they they greatly limit their perspective it, and not even just that they halt their thinking uh, processes they halt their imagination so anytime I, I see anyone halting their imagination that immediately is a uh, red flag for me and, and I'm not saying that that means that their information is uh, biased or incorrect or anything I'm just saying they could expand upon it more they could uh, find more understanding instead of jumping to one conclusion and stopping there and then going forward from from that limited perspective so in one of these videos this guy showed uh, so-called mud flood buildings and he was talking about oh look no one would put up uh, certain advertisements and posters and things of this nature on these on these buildings and the whole time I'm seeing people talk about stuff like that it's just do you not do you not look around you in the world that you live in do you not realize that this is how the world works right now they in this this <laughs> this uh this day that we hear of they they take beauty and they corrupt it and that's the agenda there so this should be nothing new to you or it shouldn't be a surprise whenever you see something like that okay so in one of the videos uh, I'm assuming it was by the beach because they were uh, advertising hot and cold bath salts or a bath or uh, hot and cold bath soaks and he was talking about oh they're disgracing the uh, you know the, the, the technology there and and uh, I will say it pissed me it pissed me off the ignorance that's that's what pisses me off is is the level of ignorance and that and the fact that that ignorance is defended in this in this day and age in this system that we have set up here we def it defends the ignorant and the maniacal the lower emotions like like greed and being power hungry which which self empowerment that's that's another thing but seeking power that in, in a delusional state that that's that never works out good for anyone so uh he said this and I'm thinking you dumb motherfucker you don't understand jack shit if you don't understand that they're using seawater with hot and cold so I want to go into this a little bit because that is it that is a high fucking technology utilizing the elements but utilizing them and, and I'm not saying that I know how they were utilizing them I'm saying that just that premise there just seeing that little uh, uh, banner that they had saying that there were hot and cold uh, sea salt baths that leads me to believe that they knew at least a little bit about about healing about true healing so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that whenever and, and this is what I do in my showers I, I make it well I, I do it more to the to the extreme I, I, I like to test my boundaries of the polarities. 
and what I can handle. So whenever I do the hot, it is uh, to the point where this skin doesn't really know if it's hot or cold anymore. But that's something you got to work up to. And then, and then blast it right on the cold. And so your body gets even more of a shock. And so that you can adjust to that uh, shock of the body. And then have uh, a moment where you're, in, you're within this. You're completely within the body and out of the mind. It's just, it's, it's all a meditation. And that's what life is. Life is yoga. Life is a meditation. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain this, and hopefully it's, it makes somewhat a bit of sense. <laughs> whenever we heat our bodies up, think of it as whenever uh, our bodies are sick and we go into the fever mode. That, that heat burns the impurities, but it also heals. Like, think of the sun. It, it brings, it's a life giver. It heals as well as sanitizes. So as we, as you're doing the hot therapy first, you're, you're expanding that, your energy, your essence, your heat. You're also expanding the, the healing energies, which of course, to a point that's going to be beneficial, but as with everything, at, even with medicine, you need to you need to know the potency of that medicine and the limitations on it b before it switches over and flips over to the other polarity where it's not beneficial anymore. So the heat is going to expand, and in that expansion that in and of itself is going to bring a lot of healing energies. The heat will bring about increased blood flow and hopefully increased oxygen intake and oxygen oxygenation of, of your cells and and bringing in prana. Like forget the oxygen, like you're bringing in the prana. So doing this, that in and of itself is going to be very healing. And very beneficial, and especially, and I'll talk about the uh, the salts here. Especially, you want to do living salts. You probably won't be able to see no at all, but I have a uh, I had a deep gash on that my pinky, and uh, I use I utilized uh, plantain leaf and living salts, and it uh, closed up, and it had a wicked scar that. Most people would be like, "Oh, you need to get stitches." No, like I am, I am my own stitches. We stitch ourselves up once we, once we wake up. So the salts on the outside are very beneficial for the skin, for healing on the outside. As well as healing on the inside, but you got to utilize it in a very particular way. You, you want to search for living salts and utilize that, but not in too much excess. Like, because that in and of itself, like the living salts, that, that is a potent medicine. And one that very quickly can switch over to the other polarity and not be beneficial. So you have this expansion with the heat and the energy and the healing vibes. And then once you once you do the cold, that's going to bring all those healing vibes and all the energy, all the heat. The cold is going to suck the heat into your organs. So whenever you do whenever you do the heat first, that's going to gather up the energy, gather up the heat. And then the cold brings it inwards to your organs. This is this is advanced technology, motherfuckers. And then that's what 
pissed me off about that video of, of him going on about people putting up shit on these buildings. But it's like you're not you're not even looking at what it's saying. Then you're you're skipping a huge step, which is what what we have been taught to do. We have been taught to not even think anymore. Really, just regurgitate shit that we've been fed. So the cold is going to take that heat and centralize it into the organs, into the central channel. Mainly into the organs where where like deeper healing can can really take effect there. So that that's advanced technology in and of itself, but it's not Anything that we find nowadays that says advanced technology or lost tech or lost whatever, like it's it's only advanced or lost because we have forgotten how to use this shit. I mean, it's it's all already there. We we just have to remember the correct methods and modalities and utilizations all it ever comes down to but then after you go through the cold and, and it tightens with within the organs and you come out of that you also experience a very unique thing happening where a homeostasis effect happens a balancing act happens but it's unique in that your your starting point is from being an extreme cold. So so that heat slowly comes back out into your extremities. And as that happens, it's it's a very unique feeling. It's it it's, it's very pleasurable and uh a lot of times you can see steam coming off your skin as the heat and energy and blood flow comes back to the outer extremities. So yeah, that's kind of uh, all I wanted to say with this. I was going to... Uh, because I was inspired by Zen's uh, opening up of books at random pages, I was going to do that with some of these, but I think I'll uh, save that for another time. Because that's something that I, I too, am <laughs> have been engaging with with books for for a while now. I don't. I don't read books that much, as much as find a book that's interesting and open right up to the message that I need for that moment. So yeah, that's it for now. Oh, I'm uh, really looking forward to Corteezy and my and Jenny's podcast. If they get that up and going, that'll be badass. Definitely need to get Zen in there at some point, for sure. Alright, y'all. Peace.